Hi, everyone. Welcome to uh, Monday Morning Mojo after a holiday weekend. And I'm so glad you could be with me today. I am excited to, um, you know, get into another conversation with all of you. So if you're with me on Zoom and you want to come on screen, you're more than welcome. If you would rather not, I totally get it. It's 730 on a Monday morning. <laughs> And uh, everyone joining me on Facebook, good morning. I'm really glad you're here. Um, I, I just have so much fun doing this because I enjoy uh, getting into conversations with people that get them thinking. I enjoy being a coach. I enjoy, um, you know, adding value. And you're all adding so much value to my life and each other's. And it's just really, it's really been a joy to do this. So this morning, I want to talk to you about curiosity, and uh, we're going to get right into why I think being a curious person can be um, advantageous and add a lot of dimension to your life. And I think, you know, I've always been a curious person uh, for as long as I can remember. I was that kid that asked a lot of questions, and, uh, you know, I know our parents do the best they can with what they have. Um, you know, sometimes I was like, I was told to stop asking so many questions. And it's unfortunate as parents, um, when we try to cut that off. And I think that um, as children, we learn, or we, we haven't learned uh, the things that can hold us back, right? So as children, we just have an openness and a curiosity. And, and those questions lead to discovery. And so I want to talk to you today about really connecting maybe with your inner child a little bit and really connecting with your ability to stretch your curiosity. Um, and I think that I believe that being curious uh, will put you on the path to lifelong learning. And what I know to be true about lifelong learners uh, is that, well, they're committed to excellence, right? Because they're searching for knowledge. Um, but I know that being a lifelong learner will open you up and, and change your personal perspectives uh, and that will bring extraordinary results into your life. So being a lifelong learner is certainly a key to success. And so as we talked this morning about uh, stretching your curiosity, uh, I want you to think about ways that you can do that. And I'm going to give you some action steps before the end of our session this morning. So I am going to just go to my slides and share some thoughts with you that way. Okay. So growth is stimulated by asking why. And I think that that is a question that we all need to put into um, our, our daily thoughts, right? Asking why, right? So asking, why am I doing this? Why aren't I doing this? Uh, how does this work? Why does it work that way? Um, and I think that that is the important, the, the first step to opening up our curiosity is to ask why. So, Asking questions in of itself is another skill. Uh, so curiosity itself is defined as a strong desire to know or learn something. That's the definition of curiosity, a strong desire to know or learn something. And, and obviously curiosity is, itself is going to lead you to ask more questions. Um, and when you ask more questions, you're seeking answers you're seeking knowledge, you're learning from other people, um, you're on a mission to do better and explore new things. And obviously, you know, that opens up a lot of options for us, a lot of possibilities. So curiosity, if you're taking notes, you might want to write this down. Curiosity is the engine of achievement. Curiosity is the engine of achievement. Curiosity, again, is the desire to learn and to understand new things and to know how they work. And curious people thirst for knowledge, right? So they're always seeking for, for knowledge. They're interested in life, people, ideas, experiences, and they live in a constant state of wanting to learn more. And they're always asking why. So are you someone who finds themselves getting into really great conversations with people and asking them questions about their life and their story. Uh, and this doesn't mean that we uh, sit someone down and grill them. It means that we, we become artful, 
right? Because questions, asking good questions and, and powerful questions is, it's a skill set and it's an art form. And we're going to talk a little bit before the end of the call today about ways to improve our ability to ask great questions. So if you're genuinely curious about a subject, you're curious about people, you're going to be in question mode and you're going to, even in a conversation, be in question mode because you're seeking information. So the mind of a curious person is pretty active. <laughs> this is probably a good snapshot of my brain on any given moment. Uh, and curious people, they just want to know more and they want to understand. Um, and you know, a good, a good uh, quote to write down or, or phrase uh, for us to use even as a mantra is seek first to understand, right? So coming into any situation, coming into any conversation, approaching a project, approaching a new business, uh, approaching any kind of plan that you might have is, is really to start with an open mind and, and be full of curiosity. Because the questions you ask will not only um, create the plan and the strategy around what you're trying to accomplish, it will also help you really excel at what you want to do because you'll continue to ask questions to uncover more information. And so your project can be good or it can become great. And I think that the more curious you are, it leads you to a path of uh, excellence. And I also think that through questioning, you'll determine um, or start to uncover things that maybe you need to be aware of in terms of like a plan B or a contingency. So it just puts you in a better position to decode, to strategize, and to understand. And I think that it also puts you in a better position to just learn new things because it becomes kind of like that domino effect where that one, <clears throat> excuse me, topic or project that you're learning more about really opens up opportunities in other, in other things. Um, so not only will it help you to do things better, I think it will help you to do things creatively, which can actually inspire people around you too. So um, curious people, um, another thing that is a, a trait of curious people, when, when they do have a misstep or even a failure, um, it doesn't really keep them down for long. Curious people are always in question mode, right? So they're going to seek out knowledge around what just happened, what didn't work out, why didn't it work out, what could I have done differently, uh, how could we have planned that better? So I think that uh, the, the, another positive thing about exploring how to stretch your curiosity is that you can also become more resilient in the process and you can become more tenacious around pursuing opportunity when you don't fear the failure. So when, when you can be inquisitive enough to own that uh, outcome and really accept that responsibility around it, it's not a blame thing, it's not a fear of failure, it's just, well, let's just ask some more questions around why this didn't work and let's figure out how to make it work better. So I think that is uh, another positive thing around developing your curiosity. Uh, and curious people tend to be more successful, they tend to achieve more because they're always on that, that path to asking questions and wanting to do more because they can use the information that they're gaining or be on a journey to learn something new. So being curious is important for really excelling in anything that you want to do. So if you're looking to achieve at a high level, then you know, your ability to ask powerful questions is, is going to need to be part of the process. So I think that um, as you've uh, as we're talking this morning, I think that curiosity uh, is really the beginning of living an extraordinary life, right? Living a life on a really big level, um, because I think that as you develop your ability to ask powerful questions and you become more and more comfortable with your sense of curiosity, it just expands your possibilities beyond the ordinary. And it really starts to create a bigger life for you and those around you. And asking why just fires up your imagination. It, it just, it creates new pathways in your thinking. And, and that's a really important thing to take away from this morning too, is that you can change the way you think. 
you can open up possibilities and create new pathways in your mind and really basically change your world through the questions that you ask. So again, it leads to discovery and it opens up options. And I think that uh, it can take you from a dead end to a wide open space where you can see many options and choices. Um, and another thing for those of you uh, with children, small children in your life, you know, really nurturing their sense of curiosity and exploration, you'll change their lives and give them an opportunity to really uh, explore things in, in a way that doesn't put them in a box and make them feel like they can do anything. And that's what we need, right? Our young people are our future and we need to create uh, leaders, right? For our future who can think expansively, who can think creatively, who can ask why, who can ask how, how can we do this differently? How can we do this better? Um, so curiosity is the opponent to apathy and to the status quo, right? So being curious is, is the opportunity to really open new doors. It's also an antidote to boredom. I'll tell you that too. It's definitely an antidote to boredom. Um, and being curious is creating your own life by design. Right, so really sitting down and thinking about what you want in your life, what are your goals, what can you create? And it's answering uh, the call, right? Instead of saying, no, that's not possible, it's really asking, yes, how can I, how can it be possible? Uh, and you know, that's, that's how my mind works. It's not no, it's how. It's not never it's when so it's really being someone who can think creatively around solutions how would your life change if you were if you could develop your ability to ask yourself those questions more and how would your life change if you could be someone who uh in a group environment in in work or in other associations that you're in if you were the person who was always stimulating conversations around how and why how would things change? What new outcomes would come from that? So my message today is that curiosity can be cultivated. Yes, I think some of us are born with a very strong natural sense of curiosity and uh, we, can, we can think in, in a bigger way than others. Uh, yet I do believe that if you have a desire mm -hmm. and if what I'm saying to you this morning is inspiring you, that you can cultivate your curiosity. And you can do that uh, sometimes by just allowing yourself to just imagine and daydream a little bit. And stretching the imagination is the first step. Um, I would say another way to, to expand your curiosity is to read more books. Uh, and if you're not fond of reading, and I recognize that, uh, some of you may not be uh, readers. However, um, can you listen to something on Audible, right? So just, you know, it's expanding your knowledge base, right? It's, it's think about this. If, if all of your knowledge sat in a shoebox compared to someone else whose knowledge is in a three drawer filing cabinet, right? You, you get where I'm going with this. So it's expanding your box. It's just getting out of that zone into more knowledge. So certainly uh, read more. Uh, and be, be careful what you're reading, choosy, right? You can read blogs, uh, videos, you know, where can you stretch your thinking, imagination, develop some, some interest or curiosity around some new topics? Because what'll happen then is curiosity can lead to trying new things. And, and whether it's a recipe or um, a, a different form of working out, whatever it is, um, where can you allow that curiosity to inspire you to try new things? because curiosity brings its own rewards. So as you're trying new things and you're experiencing new things, you're gonna bring new into your world, into your life, and there's a lot of rewards to, to gain from that. And I think then you're finding a deeper sense of meaning and purpose. And a lot of what we've been talking about over these last several weeks with Monday Morning Mojo starts to come into play. And you can see that you'll bring a deeper level of significance into some areas of your life too. Another way to expand your uh, curiosity is to think about who you can spend time with, right? Um, and give yourself permission to be curious. So, um, of course, I'm not asking you uh, to 
remove anyone from your life, but do you have people around you who get you thinking? Do you have enough contact with people where you can get into some great conversations around exploration and around assessing what is going on and how we can do it better. And I'm not saying you get into any kind of political co you know, conflict or, or debate unless that what driving you, which is, is fine. Uh, but I'm saying, you know, where can we get into conversations um, that really stretch our thinking? So maybe you know someone who up, up until recently was a, a, someone who traveled a lot. Uh, what questions do you have around where they've been and why they chose to go there and what they saw and what they learned, what they ate, you know, what, what, what can you really get into uh, digging into a different topic about with someone that you know? So I think that uh, we just have to be willing to, to grow. We have to be willing to expand our thinking and expand our beliefs. You know, growth is not, I mean, Look, if, if I have two houseplants and I decide to water and nurture only one, eventually the other one dies. So what I'm saying is that growth is not accidental. Even the weeds in your yard need sunlight and some rain occasionally, right? So there's always something that has to stimulate growth. So if you can't assume that you're going to grow over time, you have to be intentional about your growth. And I think the more curious we become, the more we grow. So this, this could be a call to action for you there, you know? And if, if we've learned anything over these last several months is that, you know, life is changing, ever changing, and we can't predict a lot of things that happen in our, in our environment. Uh, and some of you may have experienced, you know, that feeling that life is, is short, life is fragile. So, you know, you're only coming through here once. So what do you want to experience? What do you want to see? What do you want to learn about? What do you want to talk about? So I think that curious people go after and seek after knowledge and they seek after information and they seek after experiences. That, that's another thing that curious people do. They thrive on experiences because those experiences lead to other opportunities. There is a really great quote from Albert Einstein, and the entire quote reads, the important thing is to not stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. One cannot help but be in awe when he contemplates the mysteries of eternity, of life, of the marvelous structure of reality. It is enough if one tries merely to comprehend a little of this mystery every day never lose a holy curiosity. And I think the secret to maintaining that holy curiosity is to just keep asking why and to uh, ask those questions that will stimulate more curiosity and creativity. Um, so, oops, I just missed the slide, sorry guys. So um, again, you know, be determined to awaken some of that curiosity right now. I think at this point in our lives, at this point in this very year, with everything that's happening around us, stretching our thinking and expanding our curiosity brings power back into our lives. What is it that you wanna learn? What is it that you wanna excel at? What do you wanna master? Uh, what do you wanna know more about? What do you want to um, really experience and and do you want to do that with and for other people as well right so that's another joy of being curious is how you can leave that that information and that education that you're gaining with for other people so i will say curiosity is a mindset if you're taking notes i would write that down curiosity is a mindset uh, and i think that it's a decision that you want to make and be determined every day to learn something new and your personality can come into play here, right? So you can decide what is it that you wanna learn? Is it a new word and its definition? Is it learning a new topic? Is it learning how to do something better? Is it learning how something works? Um, it could be anything at all. Whatever interests you, uh, you can learn more about, right? So there are some things that I become naturally curious about and then there are other things uh, I don't care. You know, my husband would sit and try to figure out how exactly, he probably already knows the answer, how the light, you know, when I flip on that switch, how, how this all works and how the lights go on. 
I just want to know that when I flip on the switch, the light's on. But there are other things I'm curious about that he may not be about, that curious about. So the key is what interests you? What is exciting for you? What do you want to learn more about? And make time to think about it. Make time to reflect on it and maybe even journal on it. Um, John Maxwell is a, uh, many of you may know him, he is a leadership coach and author. I think he's written almost 80 books. He's certainly a thought leader. And uh, John talks about the, uh, the, the need to set time aside every day to reflect. And whether it's five minutes or an hour, it's time for you to just really kind of think about what went on during your day and what did you learn and, and what's the next step if there is one and what is important to you. And having that reflection time, I think is so important because if you're gonna be on a journey to seek out information and knowledge and expand your curiosity, what good is it to learn new things if you can't put it into action? And if you're constantly moving faster than the speed of light, uh, and not taking the time to put those things into action, um, then you're not going to utilize it. And is it really, is it really then a fruitful quest, right? So I think that we have to be actionable people. And I think that if we're looking to live an extraordinary life, our knowledge has to inspire action. So taking a little time every day to figure out what your action steps are, uh, is important. And I know for some of you, this seems a little strange or counterintuitive because I know you'll take time out of your day to do other things. Why not take time out of your day to invest in yourself? So let your curiosity inspire that too. And let your curiosity know no bounds, right? So I, if you're curious about how they built the pyramids in Egypt, that, that may inspire a trip there one day. So I think that it should know no bounds. And uh, I think that um, another benefit to expanding your curiosity besides uh, living a bigger life and um, not being a bored person, <laughs> not being bored, is that we also don't get burnt out. You know, I think when we are on a loop and we're thinking the same things and we're doing the same things, we can easily get burnt out. But if we are expanding our knowledge base because of our curiosity, there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to think about. There's always something new to explore. So I believe that it really, it gives us a fresh perspective. And I think that it equips us in a way that can prevent some burnout and, and uh, you know, create energy in your life as well. Um, so this Monday morning mojo was, you know, something that was born out of some thinking. I was sitting out on my back deck and I was just thinking about, you know, some conversations I had been having with people lately and, and the effects of the COVID pandemic and other things that were going on in our world. And I was thinking, you know, what can I do to make a difference in somebody's life? And that this whole like, concept came to me in about seven minutes. So um, that, that's what can happen when you start to think about ways uh, that you can expand your, your curiosity, I think it will also inspire you to take some action. So that's my job now uh, as a coach, even though uh, I'm, I'm your coach, whether you know it or not right now, uh, I want to help you and inspire some actions for you. So as I always say, if you wanna hang out here and listen, and, and if you're watching on Facebook or you watch the video later, you know, when I upload it, uh, that's great. And if you want to take what we're talking about to another level, then I'm going to encourage you to do the action steps. And the only part of this that's missing that would normally be a part of coaching with me is the accountability piece, right? Because I'm not always able to follow up with every one of you to find out, are you doing your action steps and is it making a difference in your life? So you may want to consider, uh, if you haven't already, ask a friend to do this Monday Morning Mojo with you. Um, even if it's to watch videos and not actually be on here live at 7.30 on a Monday morning. Um, but maybe you need, you want to have an accountability partner so that when I go through these action steps, you and your partner uh, can work on it and then, you know, ask each other about your progress and what difference it's made in your life. And you can always reach out to me, whether it be through Facebook or uh, many of you, you know, know you can reach me. Uh, you may have my cell number. Um, and if anybody wants that contact information, I'm happy to give it to you. 
And if I can help you and you want to talk a little bit about some of these action steps that we go over every week, it would be my pleasure to do that. So here, it, here are some ways that you can really expand your curiosity. And I've mentioned a few of them already. One is choose a topic, right? Something that interests you and maybe something I'm gonna challenge you uh, to think of something that is outside of your comfort zone, right? Because if you, if you choose something that's in your wheelhouse already, you, you may know enough about it that it's not super inspiring. So choose something outside of your norm and uh, choose something that, uh, you know, will inspire you and, and excite you, right? So that you want to research the topic. And obviously Google is your best friend here in that sense. Uh, you can also read or listen to a book on the topic uh, and, and just get into it and see what you can learn. Then uh, the second way to expand your curiosity is to become better at asking questions. And I said that that was an art and a skill. So you can develop that. Uh, and there's a lot of books that um, are on the topic of asking powerful questions. Mm -hmm. But I will say that your world will change based on the questions you ask. And so you can just get into the habit. If you want to get a journal um, or do it on your iPad or whatever, you can just get into the habit of writing questions every day. If you can write three, three to five questions every single day, um, you'll develop that skill set. And you'll see as you go through each day, your, your questions will get better and better. And, um, it, and, and a lot of people, when I've mentioned this in the past, will say, well, what kind of questions? Any questions. You know, how do you do that? Uh, why is that important to you? Uh, you know, and then you'll see you can get into some other questions like, you know, if you had the ability to meet anyone, who would it be? And what would you talk about? I mean, it can be anything at all. It's just, it's like a muscle. It's just working out the muscle and, and making, um, creating some strength around your ability to ask questions. So I would, I would say that's a good action. And uh, then the third way to expand your curiosity um, is to just put that time on your calendar, that thinking time that we talked about, that reflection time, Start out with 15 minutes. Put 15 minutes, make an appointment with yourself. Literally put it on your calendar and make an appointment with yourself for 15 minutes a day for reflection. What did you do during the day? What did you learn today? What would you like to do differently? Like actually hit pause and step off the ride called life and take 15 minutes and think and see how that will expand your curiosity. I think that, uh, and you could even structure that time more if you um, are doing well in 15 minutes, maybe you're gonna stretch it to 30 minutes. And then you can get uh, really specific with that time around a certain topic. I mean, you know, whether it's about, re like how can I redecorate my living room or you know, what's my next career move? It, either question is going to change your world somehow, right? So it doesn't have to be the most profound. It can be something simple. It's just getting in the habit of creating curiosity around what can be different in our lives, what can be new, what can be expanded, and, and, and seeing how that changes, changes your world. So I'll post those action steps on the Facebook page, and uh, I will... Um, put some other resources that I found about um, expanding our curiosity there too. So as always, I really appreciate those of you who join me on Zoom because I can talk to you in a way I can't necessarily talk to my, my people who are watching on Facebook and my Facebook group uh, who's watching now, feel free to use the chat. I will get back to you, I promise. Uh, but I'm just curious before I let you all go, because I know it's eight o'clock, uh, if you have any thoughts or ahas around um, the topic and what you learned from from today I enjoyed it Anna I wanted to ask you I did send a note in the little box there about um because your reference was the next generation you know yeah. nurturing the curiosity and all of that um so if there's any l curriculum that you could share that would be helpful um I don't have any curriculum uh, myself because I'm not an educator of of the youth uh you know, I'm not a, a childhood educator, uh, but I would say there must be something out there. But I mean, even if it's just looking in small ways in your own world, um, just ask questions, you know, get get into the habit of asking questions. Um, 
you know, kids are su such an open book. And I, I wish that I knew now, what, what does this say? I wish what I knew then what I know now, right? I wish I was that parent then that, that I had that knowledge now. But I mean, just asking kids, what are you thinking? And, and, you know, what do you dream about? And what would you like to do? Um, I don't know if, I don't know if it requires a curriculum as much as it requires adults to be open-minded and inspired to really connect with kids and, and learn from them as much as we think we're teaching them. Uh, that, that would be, you know, where I would start. Yeah. The old days, it used to be called values clarification. Then we used to have gatherings okay. with the kids getting together and kind of talking on topics. Uh, the other is with being a curious type, it's pretty easy to be overwhelmed. And, um, and if your tendency is ADD, forget it. <laughs> you sure. know? Um, so when, when you have, I know you reference somebody in terms of literature that writes on some topics, is there something you can post that would also address the, um, the mindset as well as being careful not to be so overwhelmed that you really um, blow a fuse? Sure. Yeah, I can post a couple things. And I, I mean, coming to mind are a few thoughts here. Um, so I referenced John Maxwell, and, and he's got a lot of um, material. And um, I think in his book, um, The 15 Laws of Irrefutable Growth, I think it's called. It's on my shelf. Yeah. I'll post that too. Oh, um, he talks about curiosity in that book. He talks about curiosity a lot because it's, like I said, it's a basis for being a learning based, which is a foundation for really, you know, being a high achiever. Um, and I think another resource that comes to mind is the one I spoke about last week, which is the book called The One Thing. And, right. you know, that is really that, that focus question, right? What is the one thing that I can, you know, do that would make everything else, you know, I'm paraphrasing easier or less important. So I think that, you know, to, if you're aware that you can get into overwhelm, it's developing that, that habit around the focus question mm -hmm. and really starting with, you know, that one domino. And, and sometimes, you know, as a coach, I've recommended to people to, to do a mind dump which is just taking a piece of paper and a pen and getting all your thoughts out onto the paper and then looking at it and sorting it out a little bit like laundry and, <laughs> you know, figure out like, what is, what is the one thing you could do first that would make the biggest impact? Or what is the one thing you could learn about that, you know, would be more important to you or have that impact and, and really being okay with choosing one thing to start with. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anyone else have anything they want to share before we get on to the rest of our day? Um, hi, Sarah Johnson. Um, hey, Sarah. Real quick, yo, um, got me here. Thanks to both of you. Um, I just, I put up, uploaded in the comments um, a couple of weeks ago on one of um, Governor Cuomo's daily, you know, kind of COVID report emails um, in, in, in like in the bottom in his three things, um, the app Headspace uh, was free for unemployed people for a whole year. And I don't know if it still is, um, right. but I downloaded it and it's been, it's just been really fantastic. So yeah, Headspace was, is it's great. A free resource that, you know, um, that sure has helped me. So anyway, yay. Awesome. Sarah, you, are you a member of the Facebook group? Um, I don't know. I will check. I, I think I did join like a week or two ago, uh, when Jill told me about you. So, okay, good. Well, I'm glad you're there. And if you, um, would, wouldn't mind, you can share that information about Headspace there too. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know if I still have, um, uh, yeah, I'll, ha I'll have to go back and see if I can find that. Okay. Uh, but it's, uh, but it's, you know, like I say, for free, it's, it's just like this amazing resource. So yeah, because uh, I was having trouble sleeping and there's like some sleep stuff that's just been fantastic. So yes, yeah, Headspace is great. And I mean, any of you can just um, look at it in your app store and uh, I'm sure they have a website too. Yeah. So yeah, super cool. Great. Well, I really thank all of you for being here. Um, I'm going to read Lori's comment. Her aha is to schedule a time each day to reflect. And uh, she's heading into a super busy time in her life. So that's going to be really important, Lori. That's awesome. Uh, so I appreciate all of you so very much. 
Um, and, and again, if this is making an impact on you, as we saw here, Jill has invited Sarah, and I'm so glad, um, please share this with other people. All the videos are uploaded to my YouTube channel uh, and then shared on the Facebook page. So you can subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want. You'll get other videos that I post. Um, and you can invite people to join the Facebook group, Monday Morning Mojo with Anna Gibbs. And, um, you know, definitely feel free to share content. I'm happy to see that and happy to see you all supporting each other. So thanks again. Have an awesome day and a really good week. And I'll see you back next Monday morning. Take care. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye now.